Hi, it's Megan from Roadcast, and today I'm going to show you how to add links, videos, and even analytics to your print materials direct from Canva. To get started, we're going to go to studio.worldcast.io and we're going to choose the printcast option. So once we get in, we've got two options that we can choose from in terms of payment plan. So we do have a freemium version, it's free to use. And then we have one that's only $10 USD per month that will give you unlimited views um, and a, a couple extra features. Uh, we're just going to start with the freemium and we're going to name our cast. So I'm going to say a bakery menu and I'll hit next. Um, so the next thing it's, it's asking us is where are we getting our source file from? So because we have a direct integration with Canva, I'm going to choose Design on Canva. Uh, I can, I'm just going to pick any of these. The, the flyer one will be great for now. It's going to take us into our actual uh, signed in Canva account. So if you're a Canva user, make sure you're signed in and you'll be able to go in and either build something directly in here. But for this example, I already have something that I've built out. Like this is backwards compatible. So anything that you've built out that's print material in Canva in the past is already print cast ready. So I just went to the left hand side here under folders. I'm going to go to all your designs and there's my recent design. So this is a bakery menu um, or cupcake menu that I wanted to use. So I've got this loaded, you know, go in and make any changes that you want. This one here is actually just the blank template from Canva. Then I'm going to go to export to printcast up in the right hand corner. So it's preparing the design. It'll bring it into our studio and it's just going to read, it's going to analyze the image. So this one here kind of has poor recognizability, but overall the score is okay. So it's given us about 75%. Um, if there were any other features on here that were a little bit lower, then the scale would kind of adjust and, and say, hey, you should probably pick a different image or, or a different uh, a menu. In this case, this one is fine. We're going to go create and it's going to load it into Printcast Studio for us. Okay, so a couple things here at the top. We're able to uh, left click and rotate what we're working on. We're able to right click and pan up and down what we're working on and even uh, just zoom as you normally would zoom. So we've got our base here, but what makes um, adding these buttons and videos and links to print material, material special is that we're now adding what's called augmented reality. So when we add augmented reality or AR to print material, suddenly, suddenly we can start to give the user experience a little bit more, adding videos, adding snippets, uh, of information and even getting into tracking analytics. So that's something that is amazing. You, you can't track analytics on print materials, but being able to do that with the addition of augmented reality, that's really going to up your game for tracking conversions, online sales, and overall tracking analytics. So let's get started. So we're in the free version of Printcast, so we're able to add um, up to three images or buttons. Um, let's just see what we got here. I want to uh, go to my image library. Let's see if I can get to the end. Because I know I already have some pink buttons that I've uploaded. A lot of this stuff's already in here, but you can upload the PNG, JPEG of whatever um, style of button you want. It's, it's basically just an image that we're adding a link to. So in this case, I want to add a Facebook button. So I'm going to select that, import it. Um, so now comes the, the first thing that's a little bit hard to get used to, but once you figure out how the controls work, it's very easy. So what we can do is we can pull up or down, left or right, and then uh, horizontally, vertically, up and down as well. Um, what I'm going to do here is, is make sure that this is pretty flat to the object I'm working on. Just, you know, it doesn't need to be floating super high off the, the menu there. And I'm going to scale it down. So this middle uh, gold ring here is how you scale. So you're just going to click and drag, scale that down. And then I'm actually going to use this green corner uh, freeform move option. And I'm going to click that and I'm just going to place this 
Facebook button up over here. So when we click on it again, this is where you would enter your URL to your Facebook page if you want to have people go through that way and get on the Facebook, that's great. Let's see what other buttons we have. There's a pink Instagram one, so let's use that. Select, same thing, I'm just gonna scale this and then I'm gonna use that green freeform uh, tool and I'm just gonna be able to go and click and place that kind of up in the corner a little bit. And then in the URL option, that's where you would add your bakery URL uh, for Instagram. So there's a, a few other things that I wanna make sure that we add. One being a call to action, like, uh, you know, we want people to be able to experience this, but we wanna be able to send people somewhere. Like I want somebody to, to order now, like I want them to be able to order on Uber Eats or whatever. So our final out of the freemium options there's a pink order now button that i've made and added in scale it down a little bit and using the blue arm here i'm just gonna pull that upwards so now i've got this order now button so let's actually add a link in so people will be able to click on that and go direct to order so that's cool that's great you know it, it adds a few extra elements to it but what else could we do to really up this print material experience one thing that we can do is add a video so cupcake video so if you have five like if you've recorded your uh, products and you want to be able to show them off then we just simply upload the video that we want um, so I'm just going to use the blue arm and move this up to the top because I would love for it to play right over the image. And then I'm going to hit that gold center ring to just scale this out until it fits and covers the whole top part. Maybe move that down a little bit. I'm hit the play button, test it out. Ooh, so now we got cupcakes spinning and we can kind of see that, that animation come together. Um, one additional thing that we can do is... Printcast has a Sketchfab integration. Sketchfab is great because you can come through our software and you can sign up and get a free um, account. You can also pay for uh, options on here. So basically Sketchfab is like a repository of 3D models, animations, like anything that's gonna like pop off the page. So let's see what they have for cupcakes. Oh yeah. That first one right there, this is like, ooh, chocolate. So you can kind of do like the preview and then see what it's going to look like. But this looks amazing, super realistic. I'm just going to hit import. And I like that was free, free to use. Like there's lots of great options. So it's just, uh, it's just uploading that cupcake uh, into the system. But if, if you don't have a Sketchfab account, the first time you come into Printcast and you hit that button, it's going to make you sign in and create an account. Um, and like I said, you can just use, you can just create a free account and then you'll always have access to be able to go in and get 3D models like this cupcake. Um, I guess there really isn't a great spot for this to pop up, but I think the scale on this is perfect. We can even see that there's a shadow on it. Like it looks like true to size if this were like an 8x10 printed material. So I, I think that looks great. So now we've got our 3D cupcake, which would be a surprise. We've got our video that we've uploaded of our product. We've got direct links to our social accounts and we've got the order now button. So I'm just gonna save this first. So down at the bottom on the right hand side, I'm gonna go save cast. Uh, and this point I might as well save and publish like that looks good. So it's just saving that, publishing it. There's one more piece that I want to be able to add to this and it's a QR code. Um, it just makes things a little bit easier for your customers to understand how they're going to activate this augmented reality on a piece of paper. Like a lot of people now, uh, they'll see a QR code and they know that they got to open their phone camera to get directly into it. So in order to do that, I just want to go to the cast properties, which is in the middle here. Um, and actually, oops, it's not cast properties. It is cast list or view cast. Uh, so we've got our bakery menu. Here's what I need. I, I wanna gra grab this link here. So I'm gonna copy this link. 
And then I'm going to go into cast properties. And in this case, I'm going to go select a new file. And I know that doesn't sound right, but it's just, it's what's going to bring us into the option to be able to edit on Canva. So I'm going to go edit on Canva. It's going to open up exactly our design here. And then Canva has this really great option to add a QR code. So on the left hand side, I'm going to hit that QR code button. I'm going to paste the URL that we just grabbed, generate code, got a QR code now. We can shrink this down. It doesn't need to be so big. And then let's just move this first. And like I said, the point of this is really just to be able to make it easy for your customers to kind of look at it and go, oh yeah, that's a QR code. I've used that before. So let's put that down in the bottom corner because it's, it, you know, it's, I want it out of the way, but I, I want people to be able to see it. So once we've placed that QR code, we're going to go back up to the top and go export to print cast. You can also at this time, if you've made a spelling mistake or you want to change anything, like this is how you go through and, and you change, you know, the pricing numbers or the, the image or, or anything like that. We're going to export to print cast. It's now going to update the cast that we've brought in to Printcast Studios. And you see, look at that. As soon as we add that QR code, that recognizability factor has gone way up. So now our score is excellent. We've got a 91.3%. So even just adding additional photos, um, the QR code specifically, it's, it's gonna make the experience a lot smoother when people go in to actually view something like this. So I'm gonna go update. It's now brought in our new version of the print, you see we've got that uh, QR code down on the bottom. Okay, we've got our videos, we've got our social links, we've got our order now button, and we've got our 3D cupcakes. So we'll just hit save again. So now we're just going to make sure that we save our cast. Um, and then what we can do is open up our camera. And I've actually got a, a version of a menu down here, a cupcake menu. So once I, I lock on to that QR code, I'm going to say open, it's going to open portal.worldcast.io. So this is what your customers will end up going into. And it's simply going to say line up the matching image. So I'm just going to bring the camera up as high as I can. It's going to lock on there. Tap to allow me to play back, which is great. And in this case, um, we've got a video happening in the bottom corner. Uh, we've got our 3D cupcake. We've got links to social, we've got the Facebook and Instagram, and we've got the order now button. So if we click through on order now, um, I think I just set this up to like a Calendly link. Oh, this has a call link. So yeah, you can put in actually like a phone number. So in this case, this is like order now, like call us right away. Um, or it can be like a link to an online purchaser. So that that's kind of how that works. Like the tracking on it's really great. Uh, again, you're just going to like line up your QR code reader and it'll take you right into uh, being able to view your now augmented reality <laughs> menu that you've put together. So uh, another great feature that we can now do is, okay, we've got our all of our, our fancy links here and everything, but we want to be able to give people access to deeper analytics. Like that's kind of the part of add, uh, point of adding augmented reality to print materials is the wow factor and being able to track how many people actually click on that order now. To, to do that, you can always choose to upgrade your cast. So if we go to view cast, this is your cast list of all the things that you've created. So we've got our bakery menu here and we can choose to upgrade this. So when we upgrade it, we would pick the premium package. Again, it's $10 per month USD. It comes with unlimited views per month. So now we've upgraded uh, after we've added in our billing information. And again, if we go back to the cast list, you can see we already got one view on it. Um, but if we want it to load more, we'd open up the analytics and now it'll start uh, showing us how many people have viewed it, the daily cast views, what link they actually clicked. So in this case, this one's 
titled order now pink so how many times people will click through on that link and it'll actually end up showing demographics too so based on around the world how many people have viewed this cast so being able to unlock deeper analytics is a great reason for upgrading to the ten dollar a month option as well as having unlimited views like if this is a menu that you're happy with that you've printed out and that you want people to be able to scan and use all the time not having a cap on monthly views is a great reason to I mean it's ten dollars a month it's so affordable um, as well as other additional features you know we can add in green screen videos things like that but it really makes for a great experience now more than ever to be able to have people to interact with your print materials so I hope you found this video educational and uh, that you would want to give augmented reality a try using Printcast in Canva.